All right. I am here to explain to you how to use the main debugger in order to find player movement speeds. Uh, this is my third attempt making this video because I keep hitting uh, hotkeys that I don't mean to. Uh, anyways, uh, so let's just jump right into it. So let's start. All right, here we are. Um, so first thing you got to know, if you hit the tilde key, it breaks into the debugger. You get this user initiated break, which is uh, how you start using the cheat engine. And then if you hit G, you go back into the game. Very easy. Um, so first thing we want to do is we want to focus on the main CPU. Otherwise, the main debugger can sometimes change the CPU that you're using, and you don't want that. Uh, and now we're going to initialize the cheat engine. U means that the value is unsigned, as in it never goes, it doesn't have a sign, it's always positive. And W means that we're looking for 16-bit values. This is going to work for probably every game you're ever going to look at. Um, even if the position is 32 bits, uh, this will get you the location, like no matter what. It's going to work. Um, so in general, with uh, most games, uh, moving right is going to increment your X and Y, and or is going to increment your X, and moving left is going to decrement it. Um, and uh, sometimes some things can be uh, on the contrary, but it's very rare. However, this just happens to be one of those games. Um, if you don't know that it's like that, uh, it's going to be pretty difficult to figure it out unless you uh, really dig into the code. Uh, so if if you don't find something pretty quickly that shows you that uh, the value is correct, it might just be the opposite direction of what you think. Um, not, I'm not going to delve into that because that does require knowing assembly and I'm not, not here to teach you that, especially because this is a weird CPU anyways. Um, okay, so what we're going to do now that we've initialized the cheat engine is we're going to try to find the exposition memory. And in order to do that, we're basically just going to keep moving left and right or standing still and seeing if the values reflect what we want. Um, so I didn't move. And so now I can do cheat next equals which means the value did not change. And now I'm going to move right. And uh, like I said, most games, this means you want to check for an incrementing value, but for this one, it's decrementing. So we do that, and then we stay still, so it should be equal. And we go left, so we check the opposite way. Again, didn't move. We're just going to keep doing this for a bit until we get some values that seem about right. Um, so the other thing to know is uh, because this game has horizontal scrolling, um, there's going to be... The, the horizontal scrolling is going to track with your click movement, which means you have to come up with a good way to uh, filter it out. And I've got a pretty good one. Um, so in this game, when you die, you always respawn in the same spot, uh, and then the camera will pan over to try to center you. So what we're going to do is we're going to intentionally die, respawn, and then we can uh, just make sure that our position isn't changing. Um, another thing to be very uh, to be aware of because it makes things easier is. I just played a bunch, and I didn't really keep track of where I started when I hit the last cheat next. Uh, and if that happens, what you can do is you can do cheat next all. And all that does is it uh, updates the value in the cheat engine. And it doesn't filter anything away, and so you're not going to run into, uh, you know, having to restart because you forgot. Um, so I'm going to move all the way to the right. And now I'm going to die. 
maybe. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and now I'm going to respawn. And now I can do cheat next. Uh, because I moved to the left. And now the camera is panning, but I didn't move. So I can do cheat next equals. And there we go. There's our position. So now I hit control M to open up this memory viewer. And I can just type in this address. Uh, and we are done with the cheat engine. Uh, so now we can start looking at the actual speeds. So we start at this very nice round number, uh, and uh, which makes our job really easy because we can just uh, move left for one frame and see how far that changes the value. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and there we go. There is our left moving. There is our left movement speed. Uh, and now some games are a little silly, so let's check that moving right resets it. And it does. Um, and now, so we also want to look for the Y value. And this, uh, maybe not as important to actually playing, but it's um, it makes things a lot easier later on when we want to figure out what these numbers actually represent in the actual game world. So uh, I'm going to scroll up because sometimes Y comes before X. Um, but usually the positions uh, of the player are all in a pretty similar area. So now I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold down and I'm going to step for one frame and see what changes. Well, uh, interesting. It uh, seems a bit more, but... Here is our Y value now. So it looks like we actually move at the same speed vertically as we do horizontally. Um, there's some other non-trivial things we can look at, like diagonal speeds, uh, which I'm, I actually didn't look at before, so let's just give it a shot. But it's probably going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, well, <laughs> it's a nasty number, but that's because uh, moving diagonally is normalized instead of so like if you move diagonally you move at an actual diagonal uh, speed rather than just adding left and right together uh, yeah so that covers basic movement but this game in addition to a normal shot you have a laser called vanish and while you're using it you move slower so let's uh, yeah see you move quite a bit slower uh, so let's uh, do the same testing method, but while using Vanish. One step to the left, 1A. And again, move to the right, make sure it's the same, and it is. Uh, and now let's move down, and that is also 1A. So there we go. That That is the movement speed of type 1. So now let's check the other player types. So just repeat the same process. We don't need to use cheat engine again. Just watch that memory. Uh, so let's move to the left. That is also 2.8. Move down. And that is also 2.8. Very simple. And now let's check the banish speed for it. 1C and 1C. So he moves slightly faster in Vanish than Type 1. And let's check Type 3. Move to the left, move down. These are also 2 8. So every character has the same basic movement speed. Ah, let's reload it. And how about Vanish? 1 8. And 1.8. So that is the slowest vanish movement speed. Uh, okay, so now, now we have to make sense of what these numbers mean. They're just they're just numbers. They can represent anything that uh, that they want. Like this 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 could be a, a thousand pixels in a frame. You don't know. 
Um, but what we can do is we can we can visibly map these positions to something. So I'm going to move all the way over here, and now you can see I've got this pixel alignment up to the bomb icon in the HUD. And I can use that to tell how many pixels I move. So I'm going to hold down, and I am going to step uh, one frame. And that was, how many pixels was that? We can, we can move back up and kind of see. So that, that was two pixels, right? Got the one. Well, let's, let's, let's look again. So you, you have to, you really have to pay attention to animation stuff because animations can kind of throw you off here. Um, but what we can see is we have a stripe white pixel. We've got another red, and then we've got the bomb icon. So now if I move up by one, we've got another white stripe and another red stripe. So moving up gave us two pixels of movement for this. But how about if we move one more? It's a little hard to tell. Uh, I'm just kind of used to this, but that was three pixels of movement. So this seems to me like it is 2.5. Because in hex, uh, each digit goes up to 16, so 8 is half of each digit. So this, this looks to be 2.5 to me, which means that 1 hex, hex 10,000 should be 1 pixel per frame, which is very, very simple. So like we could already tell that this is 1.5. Uh, but this is, this is a funky number. What, what does this mean? Um, so what we can do is we can open calculator. Um, so if you hit Alt-3, uh, Alt which takes you into programmer mode, you can go in the hex and just type in that, and you get a decimal value so that you can bring it over here and divide it by this. Um, so let's let's just go... Let's, slow down a little bit. Um, let's just double check that this is right. So we have uh, this value, convert it to decimal, and we take this value, convert it to decimal. And now what we can do is we can go back here. So the programmer mode won't give you fractions, which is why we have to switch over to scientific mode. Or you could even do standard mode, but I like scientific, uh, which alt to. So we take that and we divide it by that. And yes, we have 2.5 pixels per frame. So now what about funky numbers like this? What? What is that decimal value? What does that look like? So we do the same process, divide it by this number, and that how many pixels per frame that is. And we can just do that for the rest of these. And, well, we already know what 1800 is because it's very simple. Although, I'll, I'll do it anyways. Just to show that it, it works every time. And, oops, I didn't do that number, but... I don't know it in my head either, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter. Uh, so there we go. Those are the movement speeds of everything here. Let's just annotate right next to it what each one is. Uh, one A, one C. And one eight. And there we go. We've got the exact movement speeds for all three types with their normal speed and their bandage speed. And uh, 
only took us 15 minutes. No problem. Um, for games where you have more ships, uh, it can be a little daunting, but, um, you know, you, you would kind of have to know assembly in order to, to do those more efficiently. But kind of once you've narrowed down where your position is in memory, you can do this. You can do this really quick. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. And, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And, um, hopefully this is useful. Go out there and, uh, measure some movement speeds. <laughs>